Welcome to the Sunai Extension Kit video, part 2. The operation of the Extension Kit is summarized in this flowchart. We will proceed through each step and show how the system works for a sample measurement. First, connect the Sunai to the cradle using the standard tripod mounting screw. Tighten the screw and ensure that the Sunai is secure within the cradle. Next, adjust the Sunai settings for operation with the Sunai Extension Kit. To do this, first create a session, then select Skyline New to enter the preview mode. Select the arrow in the upper left of the display and turn on Extension Kit mode. Note that this will do two things. It will enable skylines to be taken using the pole rotation and audio feedback, and it will also delay skyline processing to speed data capture. When the Sunai settings are made, extend the pole to the desired height. There are multiple sections that can be extended, each with a pair of knurls that can be loosened or tightened. Begin with the top section, closest to the cradle, and extend the sections one at a time, working your way down the pole. With one hand on each knurl, Loosen the section by turning the top knurl counterclockwise. Lift up the section to the desired height, then, with one hand on each knurl, tighten the section by turning the top knurl clockwise. Be sure that it is secure, but do not over tighten. Repeat this process for each section until the pole is extended to the desired height. The sun eye is now set up, securely attached to the top of the extension kit, and ready to take skylines. The sun eye screen will not be viewable but is shown here for instructional purposes. The Skyline capture process begins with arming the Sunai. To arm the device, rotate the pole 360 degrees in either direction within less than two seconds. When armed, the Sunai will make this announcement. Hold steady. Once armed, hold the Sunai steady, level, and pointing in the desired direction. The Skyline will be snapped automatically. When completed, the Sunai will make this announcement. Skyline captured. You can now move the pole as needed to go to the next desired skyline location. However, the Sunai will not be ready to be armed again until you hear this announcement. Rotate to snap. Again, reviewing the process and the sounds. First, turn the pole 360 degrees within two seconds. Hold steady. Next, hold the pole steady, level, and point it in the desired direction. Skyline captured. Then, move the Sunai extension kit to the next location and wait until the Sunai is ready to be armed again. Rotate to snap. Once all the desired Sunai skylines are taken, collapse the pole. Begin at the lowest section and work your way back up. With one hand on each knurl, loosen the section by slightly turning the top knurl counterclockwise. Pull the pole down to collapse that section. Then, with one hand on each knurl, tighten the section by turning the top knurl clockwise. Be sure that it is secure, but do not over tighten. Repeat this process for each section until the pole is fully collapsed. When the pole is collapsed, the skylines can now be inspected on the sun eye. With the extension kit mode, the skylines are automatically corrected for tilt up to 7 degrees from level and for azimuth. Note that in the annual sun path view, the top of the display is always the direction the sun eye was pointing. So azimuth correction may cause a rotation of the picture, which may look distorted when the picture is automatically scaled to fit in the display. Note that this does not affect the accuracy of the data. Also note that skyline processing, open sky versus obstruction detection, is delayed when using extension kit mode. This enables the skylines to be taken more quickly by postponing the skyline detection calculations. The skyline shown here is an example of an unprocessed skyline. The sun paths are shown, but shading obstructions have not yet been differentiated from open sky. Skyline processing can be initiated manually on the device if desired. Skylines are automatically processed by the computer when transferred from the sun eye to the PC. After transferring skylines, 
they can be viewed by selecting Skyline, Browse, and then selecting a Skyline to view. Note that the shading obstructions in green and the open sky in yellow show that this is a processed skyline. Solmetric takes safety very seriously and we encourage you to be extra careful when using the SunEye extension kit. Although the extension kit is made of non-conducting material, it is always important to avoid power lines or other wires that may be around the roof of a building. The pole and cradle combination can be heavy, especially after holding it for a long time. Take a break or get help from a second person if needed. Use the ground to secure the bottom of the pole for reference. Always ensure that the sun eye is secure in the cradle and the cradle is secure in the pole. And refer to the user's guide for additional safety information. Further details can be found on the Solmetric website or contact us by phone or email. Thanks for watching and learning about the Solmetric Sun Eye Extension Kit.